and welcome back to yet another solution of our official DI question. This is a question that is purely and purely based on your ability to infer data set and put it in a systematic manner. Here we would be using Venn diagram for the same. Let us jump directly into it. A certain company has the following policy regarding membership in committees A, B, C. Each of the committees are exactly 40 members and each employee must be a member of at least one of the committees. The company currently has 110 employees. All right. So let us put this in the form of a Venn diagram first of all. So basically we have three committees. So we have a company has 110 employees. So this is 110 like the overall set and these are various committees A, B and C. Each of the committees have exactly 40 members. So this should be 40, 40, 40. All right. And each employee must be a member of at least one of the committees. So this outside region, this is zero. None of the employee is here. All right. Now, what is our question? Let X be the current number of employees who are members of more than one of the committees. So basically referring to this region where there are more than like a certain person is a member of more than one committee. Based on the current total number of employees, select the least value of X. Okay. So this blue region is X. All right. And what we need to do is select the least value of X that is compatible with the policy and select the greatest value of X that is compatible with the policy. Make only two selection in each column. So we need to minimize X and maximize X. All right. So let us uh, use simple basic concepts of Venn diagram to solve this question. So let us uh, mark these areas. Say this is small a, small b, small c, small d, small e, small f, small g. So let us write down our basic equation. The first equation that we have is a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g. This entire thing is equal to 100 and this is our first equation. The second equation that we can write is we need to add this 40 plus this 40 plus this 40. So say for example here this 40 is a plus b plus d plus e this 40 for a capital A. For capital B it would be 40 is equal to uh, b plus e plus c plus f B, C, E, F, B, C, E, F and for C again we have this E here and we have we have F and then we have G and D. So if you add these three equations what happens is 120 is equal to A plus B plus, sorry A plus C plus G plus two times b plus d plus f plus three times e. We have e three times, we have uh, d twice, we have b twice and we have f twice. All right. Now, if you further simplify it, you will get 120 equals to, so a plus c plus g plus a plus c plus g plus one times b plus d plus f plus 1 times e. Now what rest is left plus 2 times uh, plus another 1 times b plus d plus f and again 2 times e is left. Now if you would see this value we have as 110. This is our equation and these two are the same thing. All right. So essentially we have 120 equals 110 plus B plus D plus F plus 2 times E. So this value comes out to be 10. So I hope you are following till this point of time. Let us quickly see what have we done. As a step 1, we formulated our Venn diagram. We wrote our first three equation here, did a sum. Then we wrote our basic Venn diagram equation here and then we have reached till this point. 
now what do we need to do we need to worry about our x what is our x in terms of our variables our x is effectively b plus d plus f plus e right we need to minimize and maximize this value this is our x this is equal to x that we need to maximize and minimize now to maximize and minimize this we need to focus on this equation here let us see how would we be doing that so what do we have basically p plus d plus f this is one part and if you see in the venn diagram this is basically exactly two committees plus two times e and what is e exactly three committees and this is equal to 10 i'll just quickly show you b d and f are exactly two committees e is exactly three committees so what next if we have to uh, minimize uh, so what we need to do is we need to minimize and maximize this value all right so one way to do it is if we uh, put this value as 0 so what happens 0 plus 2 e is equal to 10 this implies e is equal to 5 so we can put uh, this value here b plus d plus f as 0 and e equals 5 here b plus d plus f as 0 plus e as 5 this gives the x minimum value now again we need to maximize x also in that case what we would do we would put this value as 0 so b plus d plus f will come out to be 10 all right now again when we put back this value here b plus d plus f as 10 plus e as 0 we get total as 10 and that is our x acts so the maximum and minimum value will be 5 and 10 least value 5 max value 10 all right so this is the entire process of solving this question step one was obviously the mindset of owning the data set step two was to put the data in a form that is easy to understand here we went ahead with the venn diagram representation we wrote our equation made our inferences we exactly pointed out what we need to minimize or maximize then we had our equation according to which we were minimizing and maximizing we took case one to minimize case two to maximize Put that in the equation and got our values so this is a very systematic question you have to systematically step by step write down and march towards your answer hope it helps thanks